Okay, in this video we're going to discuss how to manually update Malwarebytes anti-malware. You can see here one of my previous videos. Down below the video is a link to download the database. And this is what this comes up looking like. There's a couple places you can download the Malwarebytes definitions from, and that's what we're working on. Here you can download the whole installer, but this is the most recent updates. You click on like so, it comes up, save it, run it, whatever you want to do. I prefer to save it and then delete it that way in case it has a problem. It's going to download the update in an installer form that I can manually run to bring it up to date. Now if your installer is too old, it'll tell you that the ammunition for the gun is too new for the gun. So essentially what you're going to have to do is download the latest malware bytes, which is seen here. And once you download that, you're in business. So there's a couple different ways to download it, but this is going to finish run run. If you got Vista or Windows 7, you'll have to click continue when it pops up and it will update. You click finish and then you should be able to run Malwarebytes uh, if you can get around that at that point. Uh, probably if you're needing to manually update, it's because the computer's offline at the moment and maybe has a virus or just as likely is that you have a virus that won't let you update Malwarebytes. You may have to rename the Malwarebytes program, in order, the actual updater, in order to get it to run. It won't hurt it to rename it. A lot of times I rename it m.exe and I run it, runs fine. A lot of times it actually blocks the process mbam-rules.exe. So if you just rename the executable, you're fine. And you can do that with the actual program. If you need to reinstall the program, just rename it mal.exe or whatever you want to rename it, and you can run it in many cases when you wouldn't be able to otherwise. So again, come down below this video, click on the link in the description, and there's a couple links I'll supply for you there, and you should be able to download the update. Hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions or problems. Have a great day.